Okay, so let's continue our conversation about the simplest way to understand the golf swing. One move back, one move through with our picture finish, right? That's the simplest way to talk about the golf swing. So I'm gonna put the golf club down. And this is another one of those devices I know you can make at home at no cost because you have a towel, I'm sure you do. I want you to take a towel, a long towel, uh, if you have a beach towel or something, you know, bath towel there, and just take it and tie a knot in the end of it. Just, you know, take the loop and loop it around and make a knot on the end of that, okay? This is gonna be our golf club. And I'll have you take it and hold it and just dangle it down. Now remember our zombie walk and our timing of one, two, with one move back and one move through. Now what I want you to do with our towel, we're gonna swing the towel over our back shoulder and let the towel hit our back. Then we're gonna swing it forward and let it hit our back again. And there's a certain motion that you'll see there. It resembles a golf swing, okay? So we're gonna go over our shoulder, over our shoulder and follow through. One, two. One, two. One, two. Pretty easy, huh? And low impact. But this is building an understanding of where we wanna be fastest, how we create extension, and how do we get our arms more involved in the golf swing as we take it back and through. You may be observant and see that I am turning my shoulders and shifting my weight back and through, right? But even there, for the amateur, the new golfer, I don't even want you thinking about that. All I'm trying to do is give you a visual that this, these arms have to work high, very similar to the puncher in my opinion. If I was here and I was punching the golf ball, my arm would go up and down. Very similar to what I'm doing with the golf club, okay? So with that towel, it makes it easy for gravity to take over and that towel to help you create a full motion. And then we're coming through, creating that full motion, but we're remembering our timing and tempo. This is an excellent drill. I use it all the time for new golfers, for junior golfers. I even use it myself in the winter just as a way to continue to swing and have some element of rhythm to that golf swing. So I really like the towel for that. Um, in other segments, we may talk about doing that with just one arm, right? To get the feel of what the one arm is doing or what the other arm may have to do in the golf swing. But for the simplicity of this video, just taking the towel and swinging it back and through will build the right feels, okay? Now, another way to do that, I'd love for you to start off with the towel. Then I'd like you to grab one of these, snowplow stick or alignment stick at your local uh, private or, or public facility. And snowplow sticks, you can find them anywhere, um, Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, any of the hardware stores across the nation. And I'd like you to think about what we did with the towel. Very, very light, kind of like the towel. And if we remember the towel and how we had to get our arms up high, arms up high in our finish with that timing of one, two, now I could bring the alignment stick in and do the same thing. One, two, one, two, oops. One, two, one, two. And if you notice, just like the towel with the knot, I'm making my speed sound at the bottom. I'm fastest going into the golf ball, right? And I think if we have good, even keel tempo, we start to create that, okay? So after swinging the towel a few times, maybe grab an alignment stick, long motion on the one, finish position on the two, and we wanna make our whip not happen out there, but into the golf ball where the golf ball would be, okay? So both of these tools are lightweight, promote range of motion with our arms and lever system, which later on you'll, you'll, you'll start to understand that is a very important part to keep moving in our golf swing. That's the main thing that we can control with our athletic intelligence. So we wanna have some element of whip and arm activity. This is still based on the simple idea of one move back and one move through 
with the proper posture and setup to have success.